Well, I good friend of mine approached me one day and it just kind of turned into a thing, really. It just kind of happened. I don't know that it really expected or either one of us expected anything. It just it, it just kind of happened. So some of the things we've talked about, I mean, it's it's a, a, a variety of things. It's not, it's never been one one thing, and it's interesting because you find you start talking about one thing, and it starts to relate into several different aspects of your life. You know, we may talk about issues or or different communications in my marriage, um, maybe friendship, maybe what's going on in my life at work, um, my personal life. You know, I've had some pretty big things happen to me over just the last couple of weeks that I would have to say this mentoring thing has probably helped me more so than anything just to get through those times. Two weeks ago, I, I lost uh, my father-in-law that I was really close to. He had passed away on Sunday. Um, we were up to the hospital as a family and, and seeing him on Saturday and my sister-in-law, his daughter, uh, passed away Saturday. It, it makes me uncomfortable to think about where I would be through this whole situation, especially just the last two weeks, had I not had these tools to fall back on. Um, it's, it's kind of a scary situation. You know, normally I'm the kind of person that's never, I've kind of always felt like I've had my life in, in my own hands and knew where I was gonna go and knew what I was gonna do. And, even if I got in a tough situation, I knew how I'd get out of it and that everything would be okay. And this is probably one of the biggest defining moments in my life that I didn't know. And I was scared that I wouldn't know and know how to figure those things out. And this is definitely something that, like I said, I don't, I don't even want to think what would happen and what, I, what I'd gone through had I not had these tools. So the last one I watched was um, had the story about Mary and, and Job, and it, it was talking about putting yourself in their situation. What would you do, or or thinking about situations that you know Mary has, has had all these blessings and great things that have happened to her, and she was able to get pregnant and have a family, and she had all the things she ever wanted. And then there's Job that is almost completely opposite of that, you know. If you know the story, he's been through everything you could possibly be through, losing friends, family, and all that. And it was kind of empowering because we talked, and at the end of the discussion, it talks about what one act, if you could pick one action that you would do, what would that action be? And you kind of have to think for a minute, and it's just it's trust. You, you have to put your trust in the Lord's hands and know that he's going to be there for you. And, you may not understand it, you may not agree with it, you may not like it, but there's a reason why it's happening and you have to trust that in the end it's all going to be okay. Now I, I look forward to the conversations and, and a lot of times we get into conversations that we don't really expect to have, but they just happen and it turns out to be a good thing for both of us.